Hello everyone, I am Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with WKRG News 5. Let's talk a little about the tropics here. And we've had some big changes regarding the thinking of what will happen with this tropical disturbance that we've been noting sitting now over the Greater Antilles. So here's where we stand now. This is now a tropical wave, looking a bit better organized, looking a bit more like a trop potential tropical entity. Now we're seeing more thunderstorms, convection developing around the surface trough that has developed here. And it is bringing a good bit of rain to uh, Puerto Rico. We'll increase the rain chances over Hispaniola over the next couple of, over the next day or two. Uh, but the general path of this has been very uncertain over the last couple of days for the simple fact that this really has not fully come together yet. Now, we got another update from the National Hurricane Center, and now they have shifted the area of development or possible development off to the west, and there's a very good reason why they did that. So. Uh, we now have a 60% chance that this will develop into a uh, potential tropical entity. And uh, what we're noted today here is a lot of our global models have now actually come into some agreement favoring more of a Gulf of Mexico path as opposed to an Atlantic path, which would have taken it off the east coast of Florida. That's not entirely set in stone, but it's appearing more likely that we're leaning more towards now an eastern Gulf of Mexico system. But the entire Florida Peninsula uh, could be seeing some significant impacts from the system. I want to show you one of the computer models that we have here. This is the American model, which for the last couple of days has hinted towards a Gulf of Mexico solution. Well, some of the la later runs of the very popular European model have actually now trended back uh, with the GFS, uh, taking this towards the Gulf of Mexico. So at least over the next couple of days, this system will be encountering a lot of land mass through through the Greater Antilles, which would will prohibit any kind of significant development as it interacts with the mountainous terrain of Hispaniola and Cuba as it continues to move off to the west. It's rounding around the big subtropical high over the Atlantic. And then as we start moving through the weekend and then into early next week, we start seeing this emerge into the Gulf of Mexico and this particular model really starts to ramp things up. There's a lot of uncertainty regarding the intensity of what's going to, what this thing will look like after it uh, interacts with Cuba. But we're expecting once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico that conditions would be more favorable uh, for some kind of development of this system. So at this point, here are the key takeaways you need to know regarding this tropical disturbance. No development for now as it moves through west through the Antilles. This weekend, late this weekend, especially by Sunday, as it starts to emerge into uh, potentially the Gulf of Mexico now, uh, that the environment would become a bit more conducive for sun for some kind of development. The exact track beyond the weekend is still highly in question at this point. I want to emphasize we are not predicting landfalls at this point. And, um, but it does appear that based off the current projections that the state of Florida could see some, at the very least, some heavier rainfall from the system. Regarding the northern Gulf Coast, especially the north central Gulf Coast, our viewing area, still too early to determine exact impacts uh, from this system. It's going to depend how far west it goes, when it turns north. So there is still a lot to iron out regarding this system, but at least for the short term, again, nothing you need to eminently worry about. I do think it's a good idea just to be on the safe side to maybe just look and review your severe weather, your hurricane plan, just in case we get towards next week, we may have to start putting some things into action. Again, that is not set in stone at this point, but it's always a good idea to just make sure your uh, plan is up to date. So we will continue to keep our eyes on this disturbance as it continues to roll west and potentially move towards the Gulf of Mexico. You can download the WKRG weather app. We'll give you updates via that and make sure you check back regularly on our website at wkrg.com.